fine with Why, me. did somebody say something? <laughs> <laughs> Hi all, well here we are again. Yeah, I'm up the back here. As you can see, we've got one huge box. It's all white, it's the pre-production model. Many thanks goes out to David and Kiki from Flex Innovation. This is a premier aircraft in here. As you all know, it's the Cessna 170. Huge box. Let's get it open and have a look. Now, this is one huge box. Well packed, as you can see. And it's got everything in it. So, uh, I can't really show you too much while it's in the box. You can see it's well packed in there. I'll try and move it along a bit. There you go. You can see all the bits and pieces. As I said, a huge box. So let's get it out of the box and have a good look at it in the flesh. Okay, I've got it out of the box. Now once you get it out of that box, you've got a big box and a bit of foam to get rid of. It's never going back in it. Everything is packed really well. Everything's in its own plastic. The propeller is even cut up. It's an SR, a Somersini Ribby propeller. Special propeller made for the plane. Huge carbon rod for your wing tail wing, all your gear is wrapped really well inside this stuff. Let's open her up and have a look what we've got in here. Uh, it's your cables, all your nuts and bolts, tail wheel, spinner, everything packed neatly there. We'll get rid of that. Landing gear, really solid. One of the tail sections, really nice. Uh, looks good. Foam joints look good. The foam is that super good smooth stuff, very nice indeed. A new neat way of doing it. This bit here slots onto the main wing section that goes up the tail fin and you just glue these bits in and that's all there and then it's hinged on. Giant wheels, now these are solid. No softness in them, no give, they're solid wheels. Wing struts look really nice, solid stuff there. Doesn't look like it's going to break, easy. And from what I've read, these just fold down on the wing so you don't have to take them off every time. And where they clip on at the bottom, they've got one of them simple little clips there that you just put through. Okay, let's have a look at a wing. Now, that's a fair size wing. Looks very nice. Again, the foam is really good. It, all, it looks really nice. It's got the scale detailing on it. You've got your vortex generators all over it. A servo there. For the Aurons and a servo for the flaps, two different servos, smaller one for the flaps, a nice huge big one for the Aurons, LED lights already fitted. So you've got all the scale lights on it. This looks nice and it's light because it's hollow. They've used the same uh, technique they've used on other models that they've designed and it's got the hollow wing. Okay, I'll clear this little mess away and we'll get the fuse out and have a good look at the fuse. You get your manual as always. Okay, here we have the fuse and as you can see it is huge. You got your end there to put the rudder on like I was saying to you. That's, you just glue it on there. You've got nice plastic bits up the back here for the uh, tail wing to go in and rod to go through. Oh, this is big and it's that really smooth foam. This is really nice. Now, a little feature that I love on these is, look at this, no searching for your cables, they're there. So you just plug your wings straight in, you've got your two cables there to do it. Looking real good. This is big. Look at that. There's my hand over the front, you know, it's huge. You've got the big 60 motor in there, the Potenza motor. Let's lift this off. Look at the size of that. Look how wide that is. So you've got some idea of size. Seven and a half inches across there. This is big. You've got the Hobby Wing Esk in there. It's an 80 amp Esk, so you've got plenty of Esk power in there. It's got all the other controls. Huge battery, battery tray there. As you can see, look at this. You can fit my arm in there. It's that big. The underneath comes ready for the floats. You can see the two positions where the floats go. All your undercarriage is normal, plus they do skis as well for those people that have snow and need the skis. 
You also have a tow release in case you want to tow a glider here. It's not up and running at the moment, but there's a spot in the woodwork in here to put a servo. So you only need a bit of wire and you've got a uh, tow release there for towing as well. I must say the build on this is really good. Like, you know, other planes I've had, when you feel around the edges where the woodwork is and stuff, you can lift up bits of foam because I haven't used much glue. This looks like it's well glued in. I don't think you're going to have any problems with this one. Well built, that's for sure. Looks really nice. There's a screw here at the back you can undo. And inside this little compartment is your Aurora 8. This is where you'll connect your satellites or your receiver. Put your servos in there. They're the Potenza servos. Now this is all wired, ready to go. Okay, into the Aurora 8, I'm going to use my Spectrum remote receiver because I use Spectrum gear. But if you use Futaba, Hitech, JR, one of the other radios, you can fit yours as well. Any RX will go in here. So it's a very versatile aircraft in that way. And as I've said, it just looks really nice. I've got to get up and have another look here. It's all set out so well. You've got a huge battery tray there. And I say it's all set out just so well. Right, well, I better get this thing together so we can see what it looks like all put together. Mind you, I don't know where I'm going to do it in here. I might have to take it outside and film it just to show you it because I really don't have room in the studio for a plane of this size. Let's get it together though and have a look. Okay, I thought I'd just give you a quick look. I'm not going to show you how to do the whole thing. You just glue this piece in like it said. Make sure you get it in good and dry. They recommend not to use accelerant to cure it. Let it cure by itself. You get a better joint. Then you just pop a screw in here. Pop your tail wheel in. Two screws there. Easy as can be. That's the rudder done. Up the front we fitted the wheels. Now again, really easy. You just put a spacer on, put the wheel on, put some blue thread lock on the screw and screw them on. They're done. Read your manual, it tells you which way to put the uh, wheels on. It doesn't matter which way they go but the actual um, slats here only fit on one way. There's our model with its wheels on, ready to go. The tail feathers, they go in like any of your other foamies that you build. Your carbon rod goes through the middle. The plastic here joins together in there and they just slot in. And then like the olden days, just a piece of tape over there makes it nice and easy. I'll get that tape on. Okay, I've mounted a remote receiver up the front there and another up the back. It says you to use two of them. Fitted the prop adapter. Look at that chromed grill. Doesn't that look nice? Uh, look at that. Next to the DX9. She's just about all ready to go. Hey, here we are, it's done. Lights on the outer wing. I can't fit that wing on that side, I just haven't got room. As you can see, looks very nice. Lights out on the wings. Looking very nice. Everything's all there. She's all working. Flaps. Flaps are working. Everything's working. So there we are. We'll try and get it up in the air. And you'll see it in full when I can get all the wings on when we get the video for outside. That's all for now. I'd just like to thank Dave and Kiki again and um, Mike as well from Model Flight making all this possible. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. That's it for now. Catch you soon with the Maiden.